As the name suggests, a two-stage regulator reduces the pressure inlet to a fixed pressure via two stages. This device consists of two valves mounted in opposite directions and two diaphragms. High pressure gas enters the regulator through the inlet valve into the first stage valve chamber. This leads to a rise in the pressure as indicated by the inlet pressure gauge. When the first stage chamber completely fills up, the spring exerts a downward force on the diaphragm, which pushes the first stage valve stem open. With the valve open, the gas is pushed into the first stage low pressure chamber. This exerts an opposing force on the first stage diaphragm. The gas now finds its way into the second stage valve chamber. When the regulator knob is turned clockwise, it pushes down on the range spring in the second stage, which in turn exerts a downward force on the diaphragm. This action causes the second stage valve stem to open, which allows the gas to enter into the second stage low pressure chamber. There is now an opposing force exerted on the second stage diaphragm. The diaphragm balances itself with the two opposing forces exerted by the spring and the gas in the second stage chamber. This change in pressure is now reflected on the outlet pressure gauge. As the pressure in the cylinder drops due to regular use, the pressure of the gas in the inlet chamber is also reduced. This causes a reduced gas pressure force exerted upon the first stage valve. Due to more pressure from the spring, the diaphragm moves further up, causing the valve stem to open more. More gas now fills up the first stage low pressure chamber, resulting in higher pressure in the second stage valve chamber. Due to this increase in the gas pressure in the second stage chamber, the equilibrium is broken between the gas pressure exerted on the diaphragm and that of the spring. This extra pressure moves the diaphragm further up by compressing the spring, allowing the valve stem to close a little further. Less gas enters the outlet valve, which causes the pressure in the outlet to remain constant throughout the use of the cylinder. This is contrary to the functioning of a single stage regulator, where the outlet pressure drops as the cylinder is in use. Once the cylinder is empty, the outlet pressure drops to zero, as shown on the outlet pressure gauge.